Hey guys, welcome back to Yes or No Item Reviews. My name is Omar, and in this episode, we're going to unbox, we're going to set up, and we're going to review the Kid Zone Ride On Bumper Car. And we're going to unbox it right now. Oh wow! Is there one more? Yay! Braxton has a bump car! Alright. Oh. It's installed already, Daddy, so pretty much, guys, you don't really have to install it. Yeah, oh, go. but there's a ticker. So this is all that comes inside that box. You got the bumper car and you got these right here. You got the controller, you got the charger, you got kid zone instruction booklet, and you got stickers. This product is packed with the battery disconnected. Connect the battery before use. All right guys, so when you open it, all this already was plugged in, except for this guy right here. So you basically take it, it was almost already there. You just kind of push it forward like that. That's pretty much it, it was already connected. So look, that one's already glued down the black one right there. All these are the wires. We're already pre-installed. All right, now put the seat back and screw it back in. All right, so now you get the charger. Open it up. Take that and plug it right there. Okay, now we're gonna charge it. Hey guys, quick question. Is this video helping you? If so, do yourself a favor by clicking the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so that you'll be the first to get notified to all the latest videos. Let's get back to the review. Okay, so while waiting for it to charge, this is the remote control. So now you have stickers here. You have zero to 10. So you have option what number you want. Wow. But since our son is born January. We're gonna put zero one. Yes. Nice. like on top of the. Oh. Well. Right, let's let this charge and we're good to go. When the bumper car is fully charged, set aside the charger. Grab the remote controller and pair it to the bumper car by holding the letter M for about two seconds. You'll notice that the controller will rapidly blink. Then go to the bumper car and turn on the bottom switch. You'll notice that the controller stops blinking. This shows you that the bumper car and the controller are now paired. You'll also notice that the solid light will go away. Don't worry, it's still paired. You can now test drive the car with your remote. It's always good to practice driving before putting your kid inside the car. One of the coolest features of the bumper car happens to be this button right here. When you press this button, you'll notice that you now have a smile on your face. Let's see what my son thinks about this car. The control sticks itself can also drive the bumper car without the red controller. I'm not even using it. Look. Things that are great about this product is that it's very easy to install and it's also safe to use. It comes with anti-flat tires and a safety belt. This car does a 360 spin, 
not just a typical forward, backward, left, or right directions. Also, it only goes up to 1.9 miles per hour, so it's perfect speed to introduce to a kid. The remote control makes it fun for the parents to play also. And of course, you can't forget the lights. They look awesome. There are two minor downfalls in my opinion. According to the instruction booklet, the charge time on the car is 5 hours and 12 hours for the first use. That's kind of lengthy. The use time is only 1 to 2 hours, which sounds short. However, 1 to 2 hours is quite a long time to play on a bumper car, and my son lasted about 40 minutes till he wanted to stop riding. So I guess we could live with that. If you want to learn more about this bumper car, or if you want to purchase one, I'll leave links in the description section below. And please, let us know your opinion about this car. We would love to hear from you. Also, check out these other videos that are related to this video on the right side of your screen. Until then, I will see you at the next item.